Well, four drive-by shootings in Pleasanton, but gel beads, not bullets, were used as ammo. Our crime reporter Henry Lee joins us now after speaking with a victim and police. Henry. Julie, these victims were shot at random by young people armed with weapons that fire these gel beads. Now, Pleasanton police are warning the shooters that they could face serious charges. Like a drive-by shooting. Like the pop, 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 pop. Ryan Hughes and his six-year-old daughter came under fires. They headed home from a park in Pleasanton. One of those Orby-type things hit me in the back while uh, we were riding our bike. And I'm just glad my six-year-old wasn't hurt. It turns out Hughes was hit by Orby's gel beads like these near Santa Rita Road and Moore Avenue at about 3 Sunday afternoon. If they do this to the wrong person, um, God, God only knows what could happen to them. You know, and, and that's what's scary to me. Hughes isn't alone. Three other innocent victims have been hit by gel beads over the past two weeks, including on Main Street downtown Saturday night. They hear a pop, and then, then they feel the sting and look, and they're seeing the car drive, drive off. Pleasanton Police Sergeant Marty Bilt showed us a packet of ore beads. They actually look like little seeds to begin with. So as you can see, they're just soft little beads of water gel. Then you pour water on them, and after several hours, they transform into what looks like little tapioca balls or boba you find in bubble tea. Most kids hold them and squish them. Some teenagers, though, are using them as ammo on unsuspecting victims. They look harmless, right? They start out small seed, they grow into a little gel ball, but if uh, struck in the right location, like an eye, uh, it can cause serious injury. People we spoke to downtown were concerned. I feel like it's totally like disrespectful to people, you know, like you shouldn't be... I don't know, driving by and shooting them. There's no reason. There's no reason. In a statement, Spinmaster, the parent company of Orbeez, said in part, Spinmaster does not manufacture or sell gel guns. Orbeez are designed for educational, creative, and sensory play and are not intended to be used as projectiles or inserted in mechanisms. The Orbeez shooters could face charges of battery, which is a misdemeanor, but they could turn into felonies if more serious injuries result. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Henry, thank you.